Hello, we've seen a lot of sales tax rate changes and we've had a lot of questions on how to know if you are charging the correct sales tax rate. Today we're going to look at three states, um, the most common that we see, we see with our clients, um, to kind of just show you how to find those tax rates. Tax rates are based on where the sale takes place most of the time. So this is either where your physical storefront location is or where your client or customer is located. The first one I'm gonna look at is California. So as we can see here, um, we've put in the street address, the city and the zip. I went and searched and it tells us the jurisdiction, the matched address, and then the sales and use tax rate of 10.25%. So that is California. Our next one we'll look at is Washington. So here we have Washington's tax rate lookup tool. And you can look up three ways, either an address search, a map search, or a latitude longitude. Most often, I believe that we would see an address. So we are going to go ahead and show you how to use that address search. So I've gone ahead and put in the street address, the zip. And what's really nice about Washington is they actually can figure out the exact amount of tax if you know the taxable amount. So we're just going to go ahead and say that for this product, the taxable amount is $150. Once we go ahead and click search, if we scroll down, we can see that we have three types of tabs, the sales and use, the motor vehicle sales and rentals, and the lodging. So it depends on what your product is or what you're selling. We're just going to go ahead and look at the sales and use for this example. We can see our location code, which we will need for when we're filing, the city and the county. It also breaks it down to the state tax, the local city or county tax, and then the total. And then we can see right here that the tax due is $15.15. .15, and it actually tells you what the total for the invoice would be if that tax was included. The last state is Utah. So if you go to Utah's TAP website, which is their taxpayer access point, this is the same website that you go to file your Utah sales tax return. If you scroll down right under tools, you'll see a lookup sales tax rate. If you go under there, you'll see that there are two ways that we can look it up, either through the street address or the nine digit zip code. We're going to go ahead and look it up through a street address because that just seems to be the way that we see it most often. We're just going to go ahead and make up this address in Clearfield and put in our five digit zip code. Once we click get rate, we can see that we have our zip code with the four extra digits. We can see what county it's in and the county city code, which we will need when we file. Once we have all of that, we would be able to put in a taxable amount to see what our total tax and our total amount would be on the invoice. And there's that rate right there, nice and tiny. So these are just three states that you can have tools for you to look up your sales tax rate. And we will put these website links in the description below. So hopefully that helps.